Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back again with the message that you need to hear right now. Let's just hop right into the reading and find out what is it that your angels really want to tell you today? Automatically, I was hearing the topic again. You got people talking and I just dropped the deck and we got the six of wands here and the eight of pentacles. So, oh my gosh, and we got the ten of cups and the queen of wands. All right, yeah, judgment. Looks like you guys are on fire right now. What are people talking about? Just the fact that they feel like you're winning right now in life or headed towards a new win. A new win. I'm, yeah, wow, I accidentally said new win. So I feel like you guys are actually headed towards a lot of wins. It's interesting. So maybe a lot of you guys do have friends that are spiritual or psychic, or maybe they're in some sort of spiritual community with you, or you guys are just gifted. So you naturally attract people that are psychic or gifted, or some of you guys do have your own platforms even. And whatever the case is, I feel like you guys do have some intuitive people around you that sense you're about to do something big or that you are overcoming obstacles, whether it be in front of people or in your personal life, people can feel that you're overcoming obstacles. It's really funny that I heard a siren there because I was getting at that some of the energies that are feeling your wins are maybe not happy for you, but you guys have overcome obstacles. And the originally I kind of felt too that you guys got people talking about the fact that you've overcome negative energy that people have thrown at you. And I feel like people are talking about your strength. There's definitely energy to people trying to get you down and out or just people that you've known to see you go through things. And the fact that you guys are still standing is like mind boggling to a lot of people that the 10 of wands here in reverse. Yeah. And I also feel as well that you guys just headed towards happiness. I also feel that you guys have people talking about the fact that somebody has got their eyes on you and you make that person very happy and people have never seen this person like this. So some of you guys maybe are in a connection right now or someone's got a big old crush on you. I see water sign placements in this person. They could be a water sign. You guys could have fire placements. You're coming as the queen of wands because I really feel like you guys called back your power or that's what you're working on right now. And I do feel that there's some sort of energy where you got people talking about the fact that you have overcome a lot of obstacles. And honestly, I feel like one of the people that are talking about you is the person that got a crush on you or likes you and they just love the fact that you're this powerhouse they think you're so inspirational yeah you guys someone talking about the fact that you have overcome so many obstacles and they want to kind of be like you or they want to be with you because they feel like your strength is so inspirational and i feel like a lot of you guys do have channels or some of you guys are just people that hustle in everyday life maybe you have a job that you feel is regular but you got people around you whether it's co-workers or people that don't necessarily interact with you every day that find you to be very inspirational and even look up to you and I do feel like some of you guys may doubt this just because of the fact that people don't tell you enough. But like I said, like a lot of you guys have silent supporters and the negativity seems to be loud because of the fact that some people just don't want to see you guys win. And a lot of people who don't come up to you or talk to you all the time are people that respect you. They respect your time and space and they see what you're doing is so important. Or sometimes they just see you as someone that's like really cool and awesome, but they are scared to approach you. But there's a lot of people that really think you guys are doing a great job and see you as a role model. You got people talking about the fact that you have overcome so many obstacles. They want to just be like you, um, that you're a role model basically to them. Yeah, so maybe this person that likes you could have at first saw you like a role model and now they kind of want to date you. I feel like there's some sort of like I look up to you energy, but it could go both ways. But I do feel like with the Ten of Cups here and these people kind of sitting and talking like over tea, like this person can also talk to like people in their life about you saying that like they really just like you and also your strength and that you're intuitive and you're hardworking. Like basically you're someone's dream person. Let's see what else people are saying about you guys lately. Page of Swords, you guys definitely have a lot of stalkers in your life too. Like people who can't stop watching you. Uh, King of Swords, the Tower, maybe someone you guys cut off to as well is very interested in you guys. Um, yeah, the Sun is here and the Fool and the Three of Swords in reverse. I really feel like for a lot of you, you were through some situations where some people really thought that they got one over on you or they really tried to hurt you and bring you down because of ego. And for whatever reason, you just came out on top. Like there's definitely a certain energy of someone maybe toxic or in the past, maybe even a friend or a feminine, it doesn't matter. Like they actually really tried to hurt you and they were kind of stalking and waiting to see like any proof of evidence of you guys actually being down and out. But you really showed this person up. Like I really feel like people are talking about the fact that someone was probably trying to cause drama in your life or bring you down and hype it up to other people like oh yeah i'm gonna hurt this person and watch what happens and literally it didn't happen the way they hoped so maybe there were some people plotting on you even guys and they like made a public spectacle of it because they thought that that was gonna 
somehow make them win but in reality they made themselves look stupid because something about them trying to look you up or get evidence that you guys were down and out but really it looks like you're doing well or even better or even that you don't give enough like i feel like your guys' way of dealing with things is not to fight fire with fire but just keep it moving and that pisses people off the most so you may get word or win that just people are still focused on you but in reality i feel like they're so focused on you because they're mad that you guys just don't care. Like, people pretend to walk away from you so that you chase them. But you guys are like, okay, bye. Like, I feel like you guys are really a source of inspiration. The way you're able to just trust your intuition and evolve through these petty situations. You guys are my light workers and my healers. I always say that. This is my second channel, guys. So, if you want to see more, check out my um, other channel. But if you guys are new here, welcome. But some of you guys are my supporters through Patreon, through YouTube. And we talk about this all the time. My light workers and my healers, guys. Like, you will have people try to throw you off your game all the time. But... One thing is for sure, people really see this. And if you think that this injustice is winning, it really isn't. It's only really a matter of time before people get what, what's what's theirs, you know, in a good way and a bad way. Um, but then I have swords here, seven of cups and the magician. And then we have the empress. Yeah, I really feel like you guys are in your power right now. Um, a lot of people are rooting for you guys, which is good. And I also feel with the magician and the ten of cups that somebody here is really just trying to like this magician in this deck makes me think this guy is like literally having a crush on her like and i really feel like that's what's going on here like somebody literally is trying to manifest you guys to be together but also they want to manifest like help or support in your life because they love what you're about like this is what um maybe they feel like their purpose is also to be around you or to support you and with the ten of cups i mean ten of cups here yeah you make this person happy like and you don't it's going to be maybe a newer situation for you guys or somebody in your life that's coming in as a crush or a support because something about this person feels like they don't really ask much of you. Like, they just love to be around you and support you. So you may not even realize how much someone is really um, rooting for you guys behind the scenes, but I feel like they were talking about you a lot in a positive way. Yeah, someone's definitely got it, uh, got it bad for you guys. We got the two of swords. Maybe in the past they were hesitant on uh, coming forward, or they are right now, but I feel like this person will. Because something about them, like, maybe there was something about this person nervous to come forward but now i feel like they're weighing the pros and cons and they're like no you're definitely worth it for this person like they don't yeah i feel like this person definitely um has seen other people fumble their chance with you they're like you know what screw it. i'm just gonna come in and make my shot because i know i can treat you better i'm hearing that sean meant in this song yes yeah, so maybe this person has seen you through other relationships or maybe even relationships or friendships or situationships that were not right for you guys and you guys are learning to keep it moving instead of take people that aren't for you as rejection you guys are divinely protected and as soon as you learn that lesson you're out of there you know um yeah so i feel as though let's see what else is going on here yeah i often think by the last time i saw you yeah i really feel the energy coming in here right now is by the way you guys can get this deck it's digital on uh, in my shop but anyway it links below but i feel like um there's somebody here who like is regretting the way they're treating you and they want to come in and take a leap of faith because i think that like in the past they were too scared maybe of I don't even want to say what other people think because they're always about you, but it was more like maybe coming towards you is going to cause a tower in their life or has, but I feel like in the past they weren't healed enough to take that leap. So they're waiting until they were at the right place of like healed to kind of come in and like make you that offer. Like that's what I'm picking up on. So someone is definitely healing themselves in order to take that leap of faith towards you. And um, you're unlike everyone and it's um, obvious to everybody. Yeah. This person realizes that like, some of this opposition energy you guys have dealt with is because of people just being jealous of how different you guys are or maybe not understanding you. But I'm really hearing, like, you're no, you're no mystery to me. Like, this person feels like they get you in a way. But they definitely feel like you're mysterious. You're amazing inside out. Yeah, someone is all about you and they can't stop talking about you guys. They could be indirectly, again, causing some evil eye um, just because of the fact that people are like, damn, like, who is this girl or this guy that you guys are so obsessed with? Um, I have channeled a lot of messages that aren't into decks right now, but I'm going to use these because they have, like, a lot going on. But eventually, they'll probably make their way into decks or some of these messages are. Influencer. Yeah, a lot of you guys are destined to be influencers. Maybe one of these people are too, but I feel like you guys are very influential. Like, no matter what it is you have going on, and some of you guys are influencers, or you have dreams of being in that, or you're already getting started on that path. And I, like I said, when you have this energy, you always have this energy. That's why I tell people who naturally have this ability to lift, aspire, to teach, to help, to heal, they get on social media because you'll be able to help more people that way. If that's your dream, definitely go for it. But at least in this situation, you've influenced these people in a positive way. Whether it be your family, your community, this person who likes you, or this other person from your past, doesn't matter. I feel tied to you, yeah. You complete me, yeah. Someone definitely feels as though, like, I want to kiss you badly. Okay, yeah, I think that's crazy. I feel like you're using me. Okay, wow. Okay, so I'm definitely going to get different energy coming in here. 
yeah so it's definitely somebody here in the past who's like used to be around people who are users and so like they don't feel that energy with you but i think i do want to say too as well that as you guys are going through this elevation process i do feel like there could be some naysayers or certain people who like want to make you guys out to be the bad guy look someone is pissing me off see so there could also be people around this person that's convincing them that maybe you're using them or that you don't care about them because this person's all about you but and they, maybe this person's very good natured and they've been taken advantage of in the past but I feel like this person saying to somebody like that's not for this connection like what do you not trust my judgment like what do you not trust my judgment that's what i'm hearing so this person like definitely is someone with good judgment and they're insulted almost so you got somebody here who's really riding for you because if anyone has anything bad to say about you they actually get mad at that person they're like what do you not trust my judgment like i don't get it like you have an issue with me being happy <laughs> this card fell out it's an 18 plus content it's really funny because i do have an 18 plus platform but i i just now putting those 18 plus readings on my patreon you guys can check it out but i actually think with the 18 plus thing is like this person's like i'm an adult like i can make my own decisions and also they know they're very attracted to you like you definitely have some power over this person and i think the fact of the matter is that some of these people are maybe or this person or these people that are maybe jealous of this connection maybe telling this person that like you just they think that you have power over this person because you're hot and you're sexy and that's why they're just like staying around you you guys are coming up as queen of, of wands but in reality you inspire and uplift this person and yeah sure you're good looking you're easy on the eyes it sure it sure does help the situation but i feel like you got people talking about the fact that you've had a major glow up and you look really good and i think that some people that are jealous of this person's crush on you i think are you sure not just blinded by their looks or how good they're looking lately you know because people are saying like you look really good and that you are glowing up um basically friend zone work zone crush someone currently in your life yeah this could be the person here they could be someone you work with they're in your friend zone you've known them for a while someone in your life currently yeah yeah and i feel like this person um really like loves to listen to you guys talk and your insight and your wisdom and they find you to be very divine the tension is killing me yeah this person could definitely be stuck here stuck here i'm hearing so maybe there's in the past they couldn't come forward but you'd be surprised how many people just because you have some people try to bring you down how many people actually really defend you and support you behind your back too as well they're scared they're scared you'll steal the attention so someone in this can someone in this situation really is interesting you guys but there's definitely an energy here where people are mad you're going to be stealing the attention away from this person so somebody who's definitely got some some things going for them is very focused on you guys i feel like you're mad at me yeah and so like yeah it's crazy how this person is all about you guys maybe in the past you've had situations where people were able to drag someone away from you but in all reality this person's getting mad at people that have nothing good to say about you you got someone here who's really loyal to you guys and, and again it could be a friendship or uh, uh just a this person could like you more than a friend but you don't have to be in a relationship with them or date them i think they're just about you about what you're about and they they think either way they want to support you even if things don't work out between you guys got youtube there too as well some of you guys are youtubers this person's watching you or again like uh some of you guys you talk about things to this person they go research it or they go on youtube and look up the things you guys talk about especially if it's spiritual if you have oracle decks some of you guys this person watches readings about you especially if you guys are into that or if you guys, again, a lot of you guys do have your own channels or you post Instagram, YouTube readings and stuff. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys, people are talking about your YouTube channel or your Instagram posts or your influencer status and how you're really going to be more successful or you are super successful. And maybe you guys don't see it, but people are talking about your success and about the fact that you guys, everything you do is magic. That's what people are saying. Like, you got people talking about the fact that everything you touch turns to gold. So they think you're like, they see you as this person who's like so freaking powerful. So I think that like when someone comes into your life, especially this energy here that likes you, everyone's like, okay, wow, this person's with so-and-so or like so-and-so, but watch out for that person. Like they got it going on and they, you, like it may not even be a bad thing, but they're like, why would you like, are you sure this person's really interested in you? And who knows, you may or may not be, but someone's definitely like, well, it's worth a shot, ain't it? Like, it, you know, I see this person as worth the risk anyone can break your heart i'd rather this person break my heart because at least i'd probably learn something in the process you know or i'd be elevated or i'd be inspired when i'm around them versus you guys suck the life out of me <laughs> so they couldn't have some beef with some people around them right now this person could have also recently left a situation a job um they could have left a friendship or separated themselves from a friendship or moved uh, as well or wants to move i'm hearing like make major shifts i want to be just like you so you guys could be doing that too as well um yes yeah, what i'm seeing um I wish I presented myself better. And then we also have, I'm addicted. Yes, I still watch. 
Okay, so there we go. Yeah, some of you guys, like I said, watch you online, fake accounts, whatever you have going on. It's pretty obvious this person that you are elevating and doing well. And not only that, I feel like there's an energy coming in here as somebody that definitely uh, was not rooting for you. But it's so funny because they're a fan of yours. Like, they want to watch everything you're posting, you're saying, you're doing, they're talking about you guys um, a lot. Oh, Instagram. So someone could be that claims to not be friends with you or like you because we watching you on a fake account or on Instagram or through someone else's account as well. Yeah, people are talking about your glow up, guys. And it's so funny because, like I said, I'm going backwards to when I talked about, like, certain people trying to bring you down. And then they go to, like, check on your page or go to a fake account or they go to their other friend's account and see, like, oh, let's see if they're crying or they're posting sad things. Or let's see if they're going to take a break off their, their work or, or anything like that. Or, or no, you guys are not going to do any of that. Like, if anything, you're going to channel that experience. It's almost like you guys go harder, you know? I'm hearing I'll make this down. Yeah, you know, they're hating hard when I'm praying even harder the way he answers got me feeling like his favorite daughter that's what i'm saying guys like you guys get this like strength in you when people throw it at you so i feel like you throw it back at him and <laughs> not in that way but i feel like yeah you could be throwing it back too like just mind your own damn business living your best life and yeah people are saying that they like literally like this person has been through hell and back and they're still living and you're an inspiration you know because it's pretty ev evident maybe not to the forefront or to the public eye maybe it is for some people that some people are gunning for your life behind the scenes friends work situations doesn't matter and that you overcame it and that you don't even look bothered you look better you don't get bitter you get better you know i know that's like a cliche but that's the truth you're not getting bitter you're getting better like you're not a bitter person at all and it's really making even the past if you had ongoing situations with enemies or ex-friends or work situations or just this and that or even exes that just wanted to blame you for things ending why are your names still in their mouth and they're still obsessed with talking and watching you and you're unbothered you're clearly in a new energy and that's the thing people are coming to see that you guys are the truth that you're clearly unbothered that you're not the one who really is focused on this negativity and maybe at first people were like hmm, maybe that person has a point the people that have nothing good to say about you it's like they still stay focused on you so it becomes pretty apparent to people that like they're the drama because it's like people want to keep bringing up your name and then the people around them, they're not winning. Just like, okay, at first they're trying to support their friend, their family member, whoever you guys ended things with or connection with their friendship with, right? They're trying to support them. You're like, oh yeah, screw that person. But then they're like, okay, it's been a year now. It's been two years now. It's been four years now. Like, why are you still talking about this? You know? And you keep just glowing and, you're, and your success is showing. Like, you may not feel like you had the best season, but people think that you are having your best season and about to enter, um something new and maybe you share with people something you're about to do or you're moving in silence it doesn't matter intuitively people know you're about to do something big so even people that you may have let go of are lining up at the door to watch you guys and sometimes your success is the greatest revenge but also people still can't help but to love and hate you and hate to love you you know um a-list celebrity that's what i'm saying you guys would think you are some of you guys maybe you know who knows watching but more realistically like you would think you guys are a-list celebrity the way people talk gossip and chat about you so maybe you got that energy inside of you imprinted like this is who you're meant to be split personality and we have dance yeah people also say that you got a split personality um because of the way you guys can be maybe fun like i said something about throwing it back you can be fun and 18 plus like sex sexy you know but you also have a very serious side so people don't like they think that that could be fake but really you have depths and layers to your personality it's just one to, to one way like some of these people are one way which is fake you know okay they are talking shit <laughs> yeah who's talking we, we know that you are worth it TikTok. Yeah, some of you guys are on TikTok. I'm seeing so many content creation cards coming out. So yeah, some of you guys, this is a sign to get on that. You know, your life's going to blow up and change when you do. And for some of you guys, if you're on this, you're going to be a big year for your content that you guys are creating. Let me know below, you know, some of you guys prefer to move in silence, but let me know below, like, what are you guys working on? Is it a book? Is it content? Is it dancing, singing, writing, tarot, painting, all of the above, Oracle decks, movies, a movie. Some of you guys are going to be in a movie. Um, yeah. I see a big opportunity heading out your guys' way too that's outside of you. Like not something that you're working on, but something outside of you. An opportunity could be coming as well um, for a lot of you. Or just an opportunity, you're just going to blow up, you know, on whatever it is that you're working on. Thank you. I mean it. Yeah. I feel as though somebody got you, you got someone away from toxic people and they're thanking you for it. Because, because of what happened between you and them or you and someone else around them. They, they saw the true they saw the true colors of somebody else so you guys guys came into somebody's life and often my like works my healers you guys are the scapegoat so like i've had situations too where i think someone's a good friend of mine and then i bring another person to the situation and i see how that person treats that person or 
or they bring someone in and I can see how someone treats that person. And it's like, wait a minute, like from the outside perspective, I can see people's fakeness because they can't keep up that facade. And I feel like that's kind of it too. Like you guys can come to people's lives and someone could be acting up around you and disrespectful towards you. And if someone could see a different side of someone they thought they loved. And they're like, who is this person? And you definitely brought out a dark side of somebody in front of somebody else. And they're thanking you for that. So it's going to be a third party situation, like not in like the romantic sense, but more in like a friendship sense or a family sense, like a third party kind of, or, or you guys kind of came in like as a third party in a way to expose something going on. I think your energy just kind of brings out, unmasks people. And I think that's also people are talking about. They find it hard to lie to you, to be fake to you. And you guys can figure them out very quickly. Exposing truth bombs. So what did I say? You guys are really good at exposing people. You were talking about the fact that you exposed people and then you just left or you exposed something and left. You exposed somebody. Yeah. Something about you guys expose someone right now or you're exposing someone right now. And someone's thanking you for it because they were about to come and get into something with this person. Whether it's relationship or love or marriage. It's so important to have non-practicing friend around you grounded. Yeah. So maybe this person is not into tarot, right? Or not into like, maybe not into tarot, but I think it's important to have friends around you. Even if you're spiritual that don't always want to read the cards or don't always want to be tapped in. Um, they, I, I find that I, I'm around spiritual people, but some energies just prefer to just be a, a support and still spiritual, but they listen to you, their angels in their own way. They don't need to read tarot or, or watch tarot readings all the time. And I feel like maybe this person had someone else around them that was into tarot the way that you were, but maybe they were misleading this person and they're thanking you because it's like they actually found the truth through you and not the other sources they were getting the spiritual guidance from. Yeah, I think about this person being non-practicing um, in a way of like the way you guys practice. So you brought spirituality. Or some of you guys, you turned this person to a card reader as well. So now they're able to see truth about their own lives. Uh, but yeah, someone's definitely thanking you about because you exposed the truth. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, some of you guys have online stores or you're going to have a product go viral this year. So that's exciting. Uh, yeah, people are talking about maybe one of your products that you're making that they really like too. Or that you have really great money making skills. Um, I tried to hurt you before you hurt me. Yeah. I definitely feel like you guys expose a situation going on and people are talking about that you expose somebody. So let me know if you guys know what that's about. There's a lot of people talking again. So this might be just a topic and then we might have to go into subcategories in a different reading. Uh, if you guys want to know what more energy we could channel into. I see a bitter person that tried to bring you down, trying to peek and watch to see you fail, but you're not. And they're pissed. I see somebody um, recently that's going to crush on you. Like, I see somebody that you guys brought spirituality to their life and, and awareness about people around them and they're thanking you for it a person around them i see people talking about your wins i see psychic people talking about how they intuitively feel that you're chosen for something like there's a lot going on here there's it's mostly good or it's all happening because you're up you're up right now all right look they try, they push me away more when they try to tell me what to do so there's definitely got somebody here in the main energy that's really all about you and it's definitely causing a stir ask for help this is somebody that you guys can ask for help and they're willing to do that or they want to help you two 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 on my timer too when i said that wow that's a synchronicity um you were the only one i desire somebody has got it bad for you okay i kind of love the way you put me in my place yeah what did i say you guys are coming up as the queen of wands fiery unapologetically you and that can offend a lot of people stop teasing me <laughs> that's funny um how they messed up and so what if I still care? So we definitely have a newer energy in your life, a crush energy, but we got somebody here from the past or maybe not the past, but they're, they kind of already fumbled it a little bit. And I feel as though this person like, is definitely really into your looks, but people are talking about your looks. This person, I feel like may be more hesitant even to come forward or these people are hesitant to come forward. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you are looking really good and people are just thinking like, okay, am I in love with this person? I'm just blinded by like, how freaking awesome and beautiful they are. But people are mainly talking about your glow up and how like maybe like you're not act like that you have kind of have power over them and they kind of like it or like I feel like these people have crushes on you and basically like people around them who are like telling this person like don't even bother or like they're too out of your league or something like that. But there's someone here who definitely kind of bailed out of pursuing you. Look, someone around me hates you. What did I say? Because someone maybe around them convinced them that it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. I don't blame you for leaving. Yeah. So I feel like you left the situation because this person was around someone or something toxic. Or they were doing something toxic. But this person is definitely... This is definitely the energy of somebody who is probably now moving in silence coming towards you. Uh, versus some of these people can't stop talking about you. Because they're excited to have known you. Look, someone is jealous. You get more and more attractive. Yeah. Someone thinks you're stealing someone away. A past lover. Yeah. There we go. New move. Some of you guys are, yeah, definitely moving, shifting location. But 
There's definitely a past lover here who realized that it was just jealousy of other people that was making them get pulled away from you. And I definitely feel as though there was definitely someone around them that was jealous that you got their attention and they got your attention. And, um, you know, they're realizing that and they want to come towards you again because maybe it wasn't, you know, a naysayer. But energy is a lot. You know, when someone is not, someone could definitely like throw a lot of negative energy, whether it's intentional or unintentional, or curse or hex or whatever, towards your connection with somebody out of jealousy. And I know if you guys are like me, like, especially like I've had friendships with people where I'm just like excited to talk about someone I like. And then I realize, wait a minute, they're evil eyeing me, you know? And then like, it's crazy because I started to do some like reversals and stuff of like negative energy, hexes, curses, as you will. Like I always do that, but I'd like turn it up and uh, I, I turn it up a notch because, you know, you got to do that, you know, sometimes when you're feeling it. And I, it, and then some people coming in that like were part of my life before and it seemed like negativity separated us for a little bit. And that's crazy how, how negativity can do that. So important to cut and cleanse and get away from people that simply aren't rooting for you. Like people think it's not that deep. Like, oh, you know, I know how this person is, but it's just how they are. But when you accept someone in your life that is not rooting for you, not helping you, working against you, you're actually pushing away what is. And you have to think of it that way. Like by choosing someone who isn't rooting for you, you're actually stepping away from your destiny or slowing down your destiny. That's the only way that your destiny is not going to happen is if you're focusing on people, situations that aren't for you and not what you're meant to be doing. You got a lot of people focused on you and not their destiny. That's a different story. You got a lot of good energy too. I think some of these energies that are excited, hyping you up, want to come back in are people that are meant for your destiny. And for my females out there, I see a lot of masculines. And actually for my masculines, I do see like friendships too. Like friendships of people that are, like love that you are someone with morals, integrity, and value. Yeah, I feel like my masculine energies, like this is a side note, like men want to be friends with you guys or look up to you. And for my feminine energies, I do feel that men really want to network with you and be around you, but they don't necessarily need to have you because they're accepting that you're just on a different level and it's kind of an ego death for a lot of them. And for my uh, masculines out there too, I do see feminine energies that want to be a part of your life too as well. Like, don't get me wrong, like that's there too. But I do feel specifically for a masculine energy watching that this, like you are a little bit isolated because you, you feel different than a lot of the energies around you, but... I feel like there's a lot of guys who want to be your friend. I don't know why coming in. So you guys have masculine energies watching. Watch, shout out to my men watching. Love you guys. Um, you know, you guys are like a good 15%, 10%. But you're still here, you know. And again, whatever energy you associate with. But for whatever reason, I feel like for my men out there, I think it's important to tell you that, that, that somebody wants to be friends with you that's around you and they really want to be friends with you. Um, yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Or more for those that, you know, swing that way, okay? You and me always and forever. Yeah, you guys would be surprised how many loyal people are coming to your life because you cut off people. And people are talking about the fact that you guys cut people off and you look good and happy and unbothered. Some of you guys may have actually cut someone off recently and people have noticed because you're not around that person, posting that person, they're not posting you. Maybe it was somebody you guys spent a lot of time with, maybe publicly um, as well. You guys had situations where friends or family were seeing you guys together, but you're not together anymore. People have figured that you and somebody ended they call you a witch now, you're a goddess. And, but like, I feel like at the end of the day, like, maybe that person, like, was talking badly about you behind your back and you sensed it. So it's like some of you guys may be wondering, like, oh, what are people saying about this ending of my life? You know, if they have something to say about it. People are saying that, like, they're happy for you. Like, people who know this person know that they're kind of not, like, they were not being good to you or talking good about you or that they were jealous of you or this person has a reputation for being kind of witch-like where you have a, not disrespect to my witches, but, you know, kind of like the like a bad witch, you know, like just negative in people's lives while you have a reputation of being like, like, like a queen of wands, like energetically uplifting. Like, yeah, you guys don't really have the, the stereotype of being like this witchy person. I don't think, I, I don't see that in you guys. Like, you're not sitting there brooding. Like, you're just sitting there li living your life, practically going towards your goals. Your personality really outshines a lot of people's. That's the thing, too. You could have had an energy of yours, maybe fat, maybe the same gender that was trying to outshine you guys by looks. But, like, your looks are amazing. Don't get me wrong, guys. But, like, we talked about that. You're glowing up. But it's actually your personality that outshines them. Like, your love and that you have for people in humanity really transcends and, like, People are like saying about you that like you you look good, but you don't belong with that person because your personality is so much like more pure than yours, and, and like they don't have a personality. You have a personality, something like that is what they're saying. Like this person was too superficial for you. It could have been somebody you were dating too. Like they, someone didn't appreciate your personality, but people around this person did, and they're kind of happy that you guys cut that situation off because people were feeling like that person was bringing you down. So people are talking about you know, somebody um, really liking you, making that person happy, talking about you guys ending a relationship or friendship because that person was trying to outshine you, but it, it didn't work, you know? Um, 
if you guys are content creators, people are hoping that maybe you'll vlog your life or you'll talk about things that happen because they're like, they like people who watch you guys watch you more than they think. And they're like, oh, I have that person that you hang out with. Like, people might be watching you guys. I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I give an example too. Like, sometimes I'll take social media breaks and you guys will comment, like, oh, so you haven't posted on Instagram in a while. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just taking a break, you know? But like, eyes are on you guys. Even if it's not, even if it's a few, it could be intense. Like, my Instagram is private because of impersonation issues. But you guys can follow me on there. I, I accept you guys from YouTube and that. But I like to kind of like keep it like a little bit filtered because I just don't want everyone just so easily having access to like my stuff right now and all my um creativity my creative work is public right but my personal stuff is a little bit more private but you guys can definitely follow me on there i post a lot um here and there depending on my mood but anyway people want you to post more you know is what i'm saying but you guys could be a little bit more on the private end of things but even if you post a few times with somebody you don't anymore what happened did you guys break up did you end did the friendship is over whatever you know people want to know people want you to do a tell-all they want you to post more about it they want you to vlog people want you guys to, to, to vlog your life and that's the kind of thing. Like, some of you guys don't want to do that. And you're like, what do you want me to, like, be on reality TV? Like, my life is not TV for you. I'm feeling like some of you guys saying that. Like, people treat your life like it's TV. People are, like, interested in what you're going to do next. They're fascinated by you guys. You're natural entertainers. Because you speak your mind. Okay? So, speak your mind, but not wait and force. You guys lead by example. So, when you guys make a statement to move away from somebody or something, it's pretty obvious to everybody involved that somebody fucked up there because you guys really do just walk with integrity, values, and purpose, and not a lot of people know that. I'm not going to say that, but you guys may have experienced people not doing that. It must be hard for you, yeah. And overall, you got really people talking about your strength because people know that your path isn't easy, especially people that have known you or known people who, who have screwed you over or known people that were supposed to be your friends. It's like you think these outside parties of this person or these people who screwed you over are like, believing these people or cheering them on but they're really not the people that i feel like god and your angels as karma after people screw you over show the people that were involved in these situations truths about the situation or they come to revelations or start to distance themselves from these people because when you came around these groups or these environments where people kind of turned their back on you you made the situation fun and great people only have happy memories of you guys the only people that have not so happy memories are probably people that you had conflict with for a reason and I feel like you guys don't really care to be liked, but you, you speak your truth. Yeah, and I feel like you guys are about to do something. And um, in the past, maybe people doubted your ability to do this. But now that you're going to do it, you're going to take off. So there's something you guys wanted to do. And I got right here. I can't believe I ever doubted you. So you're going to enter the season of proving people wrong. And you got people talking about how you proved them wrong already about something. And I think it kind of has to do with the fact that you guys just keep it moving and stay in your power. And the truths get revealed because you're so divinely protected. But mainly there's someone talking about having a big old crush on you, wanting to come towards you. Could be the person in the last pile that I was talking, I mean the last reading I did. Sorry, you got, I could be stunned at a pick a card because I did so many pick a cards um, on my other channel. But the last reading I did, you guys should check it out. Um, could be that person, but I'm also seeing someone from the past too as well. Um, wanting to come in, they're upset that they listened to somebody else. Tell them that you were too good or too good looking for them. And also you got somebody um, in some sort of, or people that were revolved around some sort of relationship or friendship in your life where people are glad you got out of that because they saw behind your back, this person wasn't the best towards you. Or just in general, you're, you outshine this person in, in good hearts and spirits while they were trying to outshine you in a negative light. Um, so I see that for you guys. I lost you once and I won't lose you again. And then we really have an energy here of somebody that really doesn't want to lose you. Um, like they see you as the empress. This could be like kind of like, not they could have wanted to take a leap of faith towards you but it wasn't the right timing but they feel like now it's the right time like the stars are aligning for us that's what i'm hearing so you actually have more than one person interested in you guys romantically um and you also have someone interested in being friends with you too as well um and it at least the more they'll be very happy with that i hate them for what they did to you see that guys i feel like you also have people talking about the fact that they are starting to resent the people that screwed you over or someone in particular is starting to hate someone who hurt you and that person's siding with you on something. So you guys, someone talking about the fact that they wish they sided with you sooner or saw your truth sooner, but they can't just jump ship with people that they're they're um, loyal to. I say that. So like somebody really is hating somebody right now for the way they treated you and they want to come towards you and make you an offer, whether it's friendship or love. I'm feeling like it gets love and it's this person over here, but it can definitely vary. Someone did not treat you right in front of somebody and they're not having it right now and they want to come in and support you. And people just talk about the fact that you got some hate, but they want to support you. And people are supporting you guys silently. And you're going to see um, amped up public support too as well. Because you're entering an energy where you're not caring what people think. So you are also um, entering um, situations where people are also living their truths around you. So you're going to be attracting more people, followers, fans, friends, lovers that are also so unapologetically themselves. And it's not that you guys were never like that. It's that you elevated or it's your good karma season where your people are coming towards you. And also as well, you're leading by example, so your soulmates are elevating around you. But I also do want to say that um, 
a lot of people have support for you. So as the opposition gets louder, as you guys elevate, people are just not having it and they're going to be breaking free of old cycles and coming towards you. Or some people are going to be falling back and showing their true colors. Do people really change or did their masks just come off? That's the question that I'll leave you guys with at the end of this reading, you know, but people are really talking about your strength and that you overcome situations that were meant to destroy you. And also um, somebody, oh, wow. Okay, there's another person here coming in, guys, that likes you. And they're talking about the fact that they lost their shot with you or that they think you're in a relationship because someone likes you, but they think you're in a relationship. Yeah, they could be obsessed with you guys. Like they obsessed with the idea of you, but they couldn't, they could have not put in the proper work. And they thought like, you know, things were just going to fall into place, but they were not taking proper action. So yeah, someone's ob obsessed with the idea of a happy ending with you. But I feel like you got a few options now with a picture and they're realizing that like by walking outside the sidelines and observing, they're missing out with of their shot with you. So yeah, you got people talking about that. We got the world here. And then we also have the Knight of Wands. Yeah. And you got some people just like unwilling to let go guys, but you're on a new cycle here and you definitely have some rumors stirring that you have a, a special somebody in your life. So is it true, guys? Let me know. Invite me to the wedding. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, people are talking about the fact that I think you have someone special in your life because you're glowing, you're shining. Um, you're not really hanging out with certain people you were before that people thought were preventing you from shining. I'm just saying that. Um, or, you know, um, you're not, or if some of you guys, your work is like you're not engaging in like gossip at the office or something, or you're not talk, hanging out with the coworkers. Like you're just being a little bit isolated. People think you in a relationship because you're not being as out there as you used to maybe not even posting as much people suspect that you're in a relationship they could be talking about that and if they seen you out with somebody uh teamwork yeah people think you got people behind the scenes working for you or working with you on something too as well so you got a lot of people talking and i honestly feel like for the people watching it's a lot of speculation because you guys seem to be moving in silence but looking good when you do post or when you do show up somewhere you look like you know a snack and a half well rested and rejuvenated and something tells me you guys that a lot of uh cutting off yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys um, were listening to some good advice online as well. Or some of you guys are destined to be advisors to people because people want to know how to get on your level and how to elevate like you. And you guys will lose a lot of people along the way when you move this quickly in, in spiritual advancement. Yeah. And I think that somebody might be getting some love advice about you too because they feel like you might be in a new relationship and they really don't want that. They wanted to be with you. But I feel like they were just being like a knight of wands instead of being consistent in their approach to you. So what about this person? You serve everybody a plate yourself. So yeah, I feel like you guys um, basically like moved away from this person because you felt like they were being selfish. I've seen recent photos of you. Yeah, you got people looking at recent photos of you guys thinking you look good and just that maybe you're in a relationship. You saved me and comedy. Yeah, I feel as though people also think you're very funny, very entertaining. It's also your sign, guys. Like you got so many people talking about you. Um, well, Are you content creation creators or entertainers of some kind? Because you should be. Because people are really talking about you guys. And some of you guys do have a new love interest in your life that may also have a lot of people focus on them. So that can also be just, you know, or that's what's coming in because it's like a lot of energies on you guys. It must be hard for you came up again. So when I said that, it must be hard for you. You at least have one person here that really likes you guys. That's empathetic of the fact that people have their eyes on you because I feel like people are so focused on you guys that it actually causes a lot of people to be jealous and send more negative energy your way. Like, oh, you know, poor you. You get so much attention, but I feel like it's your light worker, healer energy, this devil energy that makes people obsessed with you sometimes. And it ain't always the best thing, you know, it ain't always healthy, but, um... All right, so we do get the energy of somebody talking shit. So let's see, who, like, let's get a little more tea about that. It's all mainly good, but I just wanted to see, like, why someone would be talking shit about my beautiful people here. Whether you're new here, welcome. I know I'm a fast talker or you guys have been here for a while. You can always slow down the video. There's an option right there in the corner. Welcome, guys. I channel super, super fast. Um, and I can go for a long time to look already 37 minutes. Okay, so who is talking shit about my people here? Let's find out. Six of Wands. First of all. You guys are up right now, you know? You're up. You're on the up and up. So people are, are jealous. Let's just say that. Six of Wands came out first here. Who's got an issue here? Say it to my face and say it with your chest. Ten of Cups. You guys are headed towards happiness and people can sense that or you're in a lot happier place than you used to be. Even if it hasn't manifested yet. Wow, we got the star. in it. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. You guys are headed towards some success here. You guys are just like cutting off a lot of people and circumstances. So it's making you manifest quicker. So you're manifesting away anyone or you remove people that were manifesting against you. So if you guys um, are looking better, you got rid of dead weight. If you guys are getting to your goals better or you're moving quicker, like, or you're looking more well rested. It's all having to do with the fact that you are manifesting yourself into the star that you are and you're meant to be. Okay. 
Who's talking about you guys, though? We got the lovers there. The hermit. I feel like, again, this is more general people I'm seeing are talking about your love life. That they feel like you're gonna you're in a relationship or you're gonna be in a relationship soon. I'm just seeing that. Maybe people can sense it off of you or that you're about to blow up on some area of your life. Um, and that you are shining and that you're glowing. Five of Wands and Five of Pentacles. Yeah. There's a lot of people competing with you guys or thinking they're in competition with you, but they feel like you they, you just don't even care that you left them in the dust. People are talking about maybe you left some okay. You guys must have cut someone off recently or left someone in the dust. Yep, tower here and high priestess and chariot and kept it moving. So whoever you guys recently cut off, I, I honestly feel like you could have cut off somebody you had a strong connection with. Page of Pentacles in reverse. It really could be any gender, but this person was unwilling to learn and grow. So I feel like you decided that to, to remove this person. They were, yeah, Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles, and Six of Cups. Honestly, I feel as though, like, okay. Somehow I feel like whoever this person you cut off, they were triggered by somebody like taking interest in you or coming towards you. So it could have been a friendship or another love offer that you that you rejected because you moved to another person. Like I feel like it could be a jaded lover or a jaded friend that is mad that you guys are getting love options in your life. Okay, that's what I'm kind of picking up on. So something you guys could have cut off or moved away from recently because you picked up on the fact that they were kind of jealous that someone else got your like someone else was interested in you guys. So I feel like it's something about like that, you know, because I got the hermit here. Like they want, they were already starting to hermit themselves away. Are you already starting to hermit yourself away from this person? Because you could tell that they were not happy with the fact you guys were elevating. Oh, wow. You actually have a very positive energy coming in here. So I think someone really likes you guys romantically and it's triggered someone else. And you guys could have noticed that or removed this person. Look, past life connection. You guys have a strong connection with somebody. And I think that might be what was triggering. They respect you. think you're intelligent. You inspire them to change. They're going through something. Yeah. And I feel like you guys are, are, are serving yourself as such an inspiration to somebody that they just have it really bad for you. And they, and they could have triggered somebody, whether it's your friend or theirs, how much, yeah, that you guys... Are getting love and attention someone's being petty right now and holding a grudge there we go that's what i i, I love how the you know it's crazy i love how the po the positive energy came in but even when i was trying to go that means the love that someone has for you is so positive so protective that it's just pushing out this negativity they are petty they're holding grudges they are a bad influence gossip is affecting the connection and they are being fake yeah so you guys whoever you guys cut off was fake i think it was fake friend or fake lover being honest and they think you're beautiful in reverse so it's like they're just honest and think you're beautiful in reverse so it's like kind of like somebody like knows that you're beautiful inside and out but they're kind of rejecting that because they're jealous so it could be like they know you're beautiful but they deny that to themselves you know um because the, yeah they need help with something yeah i block this connection yeah i feel as though like your angels are saying the only way this person will learn if you block them out because like someone was definitely jealous of your gl you glowing up because the beauty came out in reverse like you guys actually really realize that you're just so beautiful and amazing you make them laugh they'll reach out soon you're better off without them and it's just a sign that you guys may have cut off a friend in your life but or a lover of some kind but they may try to reach out to you and reconnect but they have a problem with using people you know you guys realize that about them whereas this other energy coming in has coming in such a beautiful supportive energy whether it's love or romance and for some of you you cut off a friend or lover while you're going through this glow up because you realize on the other end of that is is a more positive supportive person i feel like some of you guys would be in the transition where you haven't met these amazing person or people coming in but i do feel like you have a lot of great energies ready to enter your life or right around you and you guys already kind of made boundaries or cut off certain people that you realized weren't rooting for you because they had too many personal issues by the way this deck is available in my etsy shop and shopify links below okay they're superficial they're hating and they're competitive at the end of the day you guys realized that someone was working against you and wasn't rooting for you when good things were happening and i really sense that you guys are glowing and shining and people are actually seeing the love that you have to give and they want to give love back to you and someone definitely i think it comes down to the fact you know jealousy and all those things but i feel like people are talking about the fact that you guys are manifesting in yourself quicker and faster you're looking really good someone you barely know i'm coming back yeah so i feel like the, someone can have a crush on you guys that you guys barely know that well but there could be a strong connection here and they're already all about you so i see that a lot of success is coming in and people will just won't stop talking about you guys and you can't yeah. stop that but definitely core cut cleanse remove negative energy from your field keep knowing that it's okay to shine don't let haters stop you from doing your thing don't let jealous people stop you from shining got some advice two of swords and then we have the king of swords someone's indecisive here three of wands 
Five of Swords, Nine of Tentacles, Six of Cups. Okay, guys, unsurpri and surprisingly, you have a lot of people wanting to come back. There's one energy here that still wants to come back, but I think they did something kind of like unredeemable to you guys. Could be an air sign, so watch out for that. I feel like a, a lot of positive, beautiful energy coming in. And if someone hurts you to an extent that you should have never been heard about, I think you guys kind of know. Divine intervention, yeah. If someone, like, I always feel like if someone got, like, hurt you or betrayed you, it's kind of like your angels put that circumstance in your past so you could see their true colors. So if someone really did you wrong or dirty, that was a divine interve intervention so you can kind of see that person clearly. So if someone shows you who you who they truly are, believe them. It's the difference between meeting someone who's already in a fucked up situation versus someone who did something fucked up to you or messed up to you. Um, height intuition. And then we have ceremonies and celebration. And then we have socialize and join in. You guys are going to be meeting a lot of new friends, new people, new events. Um, I feel like some of you guys who are in uh, already some sort of world where networking is involved, networking, there's going to be a lot of positive new, new, new coming in with the star energy that you're in. So get ready for that. You got people talking about the fact that you're a mother effing star and that some people are mad impressed that you're stepping into that energy and you know, they could have shined with you, but they're just not meant to be there. So keep shining, guys. You got lovers, friends, opportunities, and money and success coming in. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Why don't you guys affirm below? I'm ready to shine. I'm ready for this to be the best year so far. All right. Love you guys.